Florida's citrus industry is buzzing after scientists say they found a tree that might save generations of farmers. Yeah, this is neat. The lone 30-year-old tree is named Donaldson. It was planted 30 years ago at a research farm near Groveland. And tonight, Nick Pampantonis got one of the first ever looks at it and the government's efforts to reproduce it as fast as possible. They call this 30-year-old orange tree the most researched tree in Florida, and that's because it's infected with the same disease that has wiped out almost everything else. Now the work is underway to find out if it can help save Florida's struggling citrus industry. It's the light coloration that's mixed with the dark coloration, and then you see asymmetric leaf formation. That's another characteristic sign of greening. Geneticist Matt Mattia examines a tree infected with the greening disease, one of many at the USDA's 25,000 tree grove that will likely die in the next couple of years, a fate that's led to a 90% decline in the industry in two decades. But a few rows over... Just healthy leaves, dark green. Hope. When I saw the Donaldson tree, I was like, wow, this is something that's really unique and really different. The Donaldson tree also has greening, but as many as 15 years after it was infected, it shows no signs of slowing down. The tolerance, the sweet tasting fruit, plus its approval as an orange tree under the FDA's strict definition, making it the best candidate to replace its struggling cousins in Florida orange juice. The, Donaldson. the taste, a perfect match. We're gonna really get to see that head-to-head -head comparison. Matias' team is now testing the tree's tolerance in large quantities and under different conditions, like what type of tree root to graft it to. The state of Florida is pouring money into the project. It's already created 18,000 seedlings that are being rushed out to different growers. My mission is to really help people. So if, they, if the industry and the processors find utility from this tree, I feel like our mission is accomplished. And with buds from this tree already being pushed out to farms, they hope to get data back in five years. In Lake County, Nick Papantonis, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.